Thank you. All right, Christina, he would be ecstatic. That's the word today from former President Gerald R. Ford's daughter, Susan, be days before the Navy names the nation's newest aircraft carrier after her late father. Mike Gooding spoke to the former first daughter today aboard the ship. He would be extremely grateful and um, enjoying it and, and probably shaking every hand he possibly could that's going to be there on Saturday. So um, he would be ecstatic. He would just be absolutely ecstatic. President Ford's daughter Susan visiting the ship named for her dad. Mementos of the 38th Commander-in-Chief are everywhere you look aboard the new aircraft carrier. Ford's White House staff assistant said the ex-president in his dying days was pleased to learn that the ship would be named after him, specifically because of his much earlier in life naval service. In summary, what the president said is that in my life I have received many honors but none was greater than to wear the uniform of Lieutenant Commander of the United States Navy. Ford Sailor and Grand Rapids, Michigan native Jason Pastrick is proud to serve on the ship named for his hometown's most famous son. It was absolutely a dream come true. Not only coming to the, the first in class aircraft carrier, but coming to the one uh, whose namesake is from my hometown. And it, it, was, it was incredible. President Trump, who earlier had been critical of the Ford and said that it was so sophisticated that it requires Einstein to operate, will preside over Saturday's commissioning ceremony. He will be the keynote speaker. At Naval Station Norfolk, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.